Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. Now, I think this problem is similar to a problem that I've seen in a book in Romanian. So this problem was adapted from a Romanian math competition problem or something like that. Anyways, so we have 2 to the power x squared plus 4 to the power x squared equals 8 to the power x squared. And we're going to be solving for x values. So to solve this problem, first of all, notice that all I have is powers of 2. If I had 2s with 4s and like 3s or 5s, whatever, if you had different bases or bases that are not related, then we would be in big trouble. Well, not necessarily all the time. Sometimes it's easy. And we'll be doing some examples of those next week and the following weeks. I'm thinking about giving you guys some um, really cool exponential equations that are harder than this one. I don't know. Difficulty level is relative, I guess. Anyways. As always, I talk too much, so let's get into it. So I'm going to use substitution to solve this problem. And let's go ahead and set this guy, since it's the smallest base, equal to a. Okay. If you don't like a, you can use a different variable. And this gives us a plus a squared equals a cubed. And that's a really cool equation. I can't tell you how cool it is. And it has a certain flavor that we do a lot. And you've also seen it um, a few days ago. I think we've done a problem that had that same kind of flavor, which is really, really cool. But let's not say the name of it. Okay, maybe later on. So I'm going to put everything on the same side and set it equal to zero. That's what you should do most of the time if you have an equation. And this is polynomial, so it's very easy to solve. Well, but you got to be careful because you use substitution, so you have to back substitute. How do you solve this? It's cubic, but you don't need Cardano. No, no, no. Or Tartaglia or Ferrero or whoever that Italian guy is. Whoever has the rights to the cubic formula, I don't really care. I, it doesn't matter. Uh, anyways, take the A out. A squared minus A minus 1 is equal to 0. So this is factorable, so we don't have to go into cubic formula. Obviously, A equals 0 is a solution, or is it? Let's find out. And the other one comes from the quadratics. Let's go ahead and set aside the quadratic for now and, and focus on a equals 0. What is a? a is 2 to the power x squared. Great. So let's go ahead and back substitute 2 to the power x squared equals 0. What is the x value? 2 to the power, hmm, I'm thinking about this. 2 to the power 1 is 2. 2 to the power 0 is 1. 2 to the power negative 1 is 1 half. 2 to the power negative 1 million. Oh, that's way too large. Or is it too small? Oh, I can approach 0. There you go. But I can never be 0. So. 2 to the power x squared can never be 0, uh, unless like x is approaching infinity, or is it negative infinity? Yeah, negative infinity, right? Even if x approaches negative infinity, this is not going to happen. So we're hopeless. So <laughs> there's no solutions. Forget about it. There are no solutions. Too bad. Are there complex solutions? I don't think so. So let's go ahead and focus on the quadratic now. We have a really nice quadratic. And we can just solve it with the super duper interesting quadratic formula, right? Didn't you love it when you first memorize it? Negative b, okay, look, I'm saying b and I'm writing a. Negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. And that translates into square root of 5 divided by 2. Yeah, we've seen this recently. Yeah, that looks familiar. Now, what is a? Again, 2 to the power x squared. So let's go ahead and set each of these equal to that. 2 to the power x squared is equal to... 1 plus root 5 over 2. From here, we should get a solution, but the other one is 2 to the power x squared equals 1 minus root 5 over 2. But guess what? Root 5 is greater than 1, or 1 is less than root 5. Therefore, 1 minus root 5 is negative. It's probably better to write it that way. 1 is less than root 5. So this is negative, but 2 to the power x squared cannot be negative unless x is a complex number. Can we, can we find some complex solutions from here? Probably. Probably, but let's go ahead and focus on the other equation now. So I have this positive root, which is cool, but how can I solve for x, right? Well, I can just use logs. I can use ln, I can use logs, whatever. And let's use base 2, because our base is 2. We can go ahead and log both sides, base 2, log of this, and log of this. If two things are equal, their logs are equal because log is a one-to-one -one function. It's actually a bijection, 
right? It's the inverse of exponential functions. So, you know, a lot of nice properties. So from here, x squared, you can move it to the front, and log 2, 2 is going to be 1. So from here, we get x squared equals log something, right? Okay, so that has a numerical value. I'm going to give you the value of x at the end. And you can definitely use a calculator at this time, but you can also leave it like this. But let's go ahead and talk about the solutions. Okay, the, the other solution didn't work for us because it was negative. But we get two solutions from here. Why? There are two numbers whose square equals this number. Whatever that number is, right? So I think 0 0.6 something. I don't know, something like that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to square root both sides, and that's going to give us the following. Square root of this expression. And the other one is going to be the opposite, right? You can also verify it, verify it by subtracting this from both sides and using the two, two squares, but that's not needed. So those are going to be the solutions, and let me tell you what they look like. This is going to be about... 0 0.833 if you evaluate it, to calculate it using a calculator. And the other answer is going to be negative 0 0.833. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.